When we start delving into what's required for a client, we have a chat about um, the risks of leaving assets to, to beneficiaries. And um, in some circumstances, clients are quite comfortable saying, no, I've got confidence in um, you know, this family member that's going to be a beneficiary within the will to control and manage these assets. Other times, because we don't know what the future holds, you know, the, the sex, drugs and rock and roll requirement, the, the divorces that now pop up more regularly. Um, so we want to do two things. We want to keep assets within a bloodline and where possible, depending on the size of the estate, we want to reduce the tax burden on the future generation. So testamentary trust allows us to do both of those things. It allows us to build a ring fence around um, assets from an asset protection perspective. Um, again, depending on the size of the assets or the need, uh, we can build a bigger ring fence or a smaller ring fence, and that just you know, changes the cost of building the wills or estate plan. Um, but the second thing is it enables us to income split and reduce tax. So if there's multiple beneficiaries or beneficiaries have children that they have to income split, what a testamentary trust allows us to do is to pass income down to beneficiaries under the age of 18 and not have them pay the child penalty tax rates. So testamentary trust, it's a complicated thing in one sense, but we simplify it. And the two simplifications are, it enables assets to be potentially protected from creditors, um, uh, estranged spouses and kept assets in bloodlines, and to reduce the tax you're gonna pay from being able to income split and better manage those assets in the future.